what are the advantages and disadvantages of government job in india in this video i will talk about government job hi guys my name is manish mansur and you are watching my channel government job is something which everyone especially in india is running after there are 3004 if there are 3000 or 4000 jobs then you have around uh, 3 million or 4 million applicants for that the selection process is very very stringent and also the chances of getting through is also very very slim now there are some reasons why people run after government job in india such as job security uh, pension schemes and health schemes and everything in this video i will talk about five advantages and five disadvantages of government jobs in india the first advantage of government jobs in india is job security job security is something which everyone wants especially when a country is going through recession so many people in india think that if we have job security then that is uh, very good and our future is secured our job is secured and we have a regular income coming to our homes a government servant feels really secure when it comes to his job because he knows that there is job security and after he or she has retired they will get pension till they uh, till they die the second advantage of uh, government jobs in india is regular income now what exactly is regular income this is related to job security when you have job security when you know that you cannot be easily fired then you have a regular income coming at your way you have a regular income even after you have retired everyone wants a secured income a regular flow of income to uh, to their lives the third advantage of government jobs is that you get access to a lot of government schemes you get access to a lot of health schemes and you get a lot of discounts concessions and compensations when it comes to health plans even flight tickets and all now as you know that air india is a government organization and it and in some of the ps uh, psus in some of the public sector undertakings government employees also get concessions when they are flying with air india similarly they uh, they are a part of cghs that is central government health schemes apart from that they uh, their health is covered their families health is covered they can get health insurance at a really low rate because they are government servants so they get access to all these schemes and a lot of their expenses are being taken care by the government itself the fourth uh, advantage of government jobs in india is pension now when a person is working in a private job he or she knows that after retirement there is no uh, regular flow of income but if you are a government servant in india then you have pension schemes you have schemes which will give you a fixed uh, income after your retirement for your uh, old age expenses and everything so pension is not at all there in, when it comes to private jobs and also when you are self employed or when when you are uh, in a business then it all depends on your uh, business savings on your savings of your life the fifth advantage of uh, government jobs is that the society feels that you are very secured whether it is society or whether it is financial ins institutions they feel that you are very very secured and i can tell you this because bank loans are easily granted to government employees as compared to private employees reason being government employees have a fixed income government em uh, sorry not a fixed income but a uh, secured i would say a, a secured uh, life of uh, service and a secured flow of income so banks are really very confident that this person will be easily able to uh, pay off the loans so that is why they get they uh, the government employees can get uh, loans really really easily and also in some cases if uh, a psu bank is involved they can even get some concessions apart from that as far as society is concerned when whenever a government servant is going for marriage then you know that everyone is looking for a uh, looking for a groom uh, who who has a government job because Uh, because of the security reasons and job security and regular flow of income now these are five advantages of government jobs but there are some disadvantages of also of government jobs i will now discuss that the first disadvantage of government job is that your learning stops now this point depends on person to person you may be a person who is in a government job but you are still learning everything learning new techniques and everything but 
most of the government employees most of the uh, government sector which you have in india the biggest problem is that they do not change with time they do not adapt new technologies they do not change with time in fact one of my friends is working in a very leading psu bank uh, in india itself now he shares with me that in his organization people who are working for 15 years 20 years 25 years mainly those who are in the age group of 40 to 50 or 60 they do not some of them even do not know what exactly is digital banking what exactly is mobile banking what is internet banking some of them even do not know what is atm the mentality is that like if you have got a government job then you have achieved whatever you wanted in your life and now for the next uh, 30 35 years i will just be sitting on that on that chair and then getting the regular flow of income which i have now i'm not saying that every employee is like this but yes majority of them are like this when it comes to uh, psu banks and the uh, probability of uh, uh, probability of learning and the way psu banks adapt to change is very very slow as compared to a private organization the second disadvantage of common jobs is that bureaucracy is present everywhere no matter how much efficient you are you may be a very honest and efficient person and you may be a person who has this ambitions that i will go into government jobs and I will improve the uh, situation of uh, PSUs in India and I will uh, like improve the uh, and I will work for the people and I will uh, be a responsible government servant but the bureaucracy level in uh, the government sector is so so high that even you will also scratch your head and you cannot imagine that how uh, work is being done and how you have to push everyone to make the work done and this is something because of which a lot of developmental projects, a lot of uh, infrastructure projects, a lot of entrepreneurship projects are stuck uh, in uh, are stuck in between just because of this bureaucracy. Because I am not saying that everyone is bureaucratic, but yes, a lot of people have this ego that we are government servants and we have job security and everything, so we can uh, like uh, we can take all the common people for a ride. So this is another disadvantage of government jobs that you will find a lot of bureaucracy the third disadvantage of uh, going into government jobs is corruption is present a lot now corruption is present everywhere whether it is private jobs whether it is uh, businesses whether it is government jobs this is a point which is common in all three in fact in every walk of life you will find corruption not only in india but also in some other countries as well but as far as government organizations are concerned, they have slightly more corruption as compared to private sector and business sector because just because of the fact that no one is scared about their jobs. Job security is one thing which allows uh, some of some corrupt and uh, some corrupt people to uh, uh, like ask for bribes. To corruption is something which you will find in almost all PSUs in India. Some of them are very good. Some of them are very ethical. But yes. Corruption is a, is, a, is a very big disadvantage when it comes to uh, government sector in India. The fourth disadvantage of government sector in India is that you cannot go against the government. Obviously, when you are a government servant, the government is your boss, you cannot go against them. But yes, there are many, many, many situations where you can you know that this, uh, that this sort of a step will be bad for uh, public, this sort of a step will be uh, bad for the common person. But unfortunately, you cannot go against the decision of the uh, higher authorities, of the higher uh, gov uh, governments and of local government and everything. This is something which forces many government servants to work against their moral conscience. They know, in, uh, they know, that, they know very well that whatever they are doing is really wrong. But unfortunately, because they are stuck in that position, they cannot do anything. They have to go against their moral conscience. I'm not saying that this is not there in private job. This is also there in private job. But yes, in government job, this is slightly higher because of that job security thing. The fifth disadvantage of government jobs is that reservation and growth prospects. Reservation, I think, in my opinion, is a very big problem, especially in government sector, because a lot of people from different communities are being uh, divided in such a way that uh, those people are getting different sort of reservations and other and normal people are getting other sort of reservations what happens is that because of this reservation sometimes a competent person who is of some other caste 
do not get a promotion and a person who is from uh, 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 who is from a reserved class gets promotion despite not being competent enough reservation is something which always comes in uh, the comes in between the growth of a uh, person who is very efficient and competent so this is something which every one of you has to cope up with especially if, if you are from a uh, from a general category or from a category who is into the non reserved class when it comes to uh, the indian government sector this affects the salary which you are getting the fixed salary which you are getting the variable salary which you are getting government sectors do not pay as much as the private sectors instead what they do is they give you some uh, schemes like which i had discussed in the advantages like you have health schemes you have pension schemes and all those things but at the end of the day the uh, uh, the growth prospects and the promotions which you get in government sector is not as frequent as you get in a private sector job so guys these were five advantages and five disadvantages of government jobs now you may agree and you may disagree from all these points but actually these are the facts and i would advise every one of you who are applying for government jobs consider the advantages and consider the disadvantages after considering all these things if you think that yes i am ready for a government job then it is fine but if you think that no i am not ready for a government job then stop running after government jobs because what is happening right now is that if there are 10000 jobs there are 5 million 10 million people applying for that 50 lakhs 10 lakh uh, 50 lakhs 1 crore people are applying for that so the probability of selection is very very slim in this Uh, sector one more point i would like to make in this video is that whenever these exams are being conducted always i have seen that if there is a very small clerical job or a job of a peon or maybe a small uh, junior manager or something and the requirement is just say 10th pass 12th pass or a graduation i do not know why people in india run after government jobs that even after doing phds even after doing post graduate courses they are running after these small jobs there was a vacancy for uh, some cleaning staff uh, being announced by the government for which the requirement basic requirement was class 8 pass and even phds were applying for that just because of uh, their uh, greed of government jobs and the perks that they get in that please do not spoil all your education just uh, just because of and uh, the perks that you get in a government job i think if you have done graduation if you have done post graduation if you have done phd you deserve much more better than this it's better to uh, go for a private job rather than running after these perks in a government uh, in a government job anyways guys if you have any more points to add please comment down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family please share this uh, this video with all those people who are Uh, preparing for government jobs and who are planning to or who are working in government jobs or who are planning to uh, join the government sector in the future thank you guys i will see you in the next video